Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing on this Sunday fun day? Yes, as you can see, I am back out doing my walks. It was, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good this morning. Had a really good sugar um, and so forth. So, yeah, um, definitely can tell that I'm a little bit on the weak side. So I'm not pushing it too terribly much, but I definitely am loving getting back into routine. Routine. This is this is really really nice. I, I'm I'm actually loving it. Um, I did check the temperature, 68, um, and it's quarter to 12 right now. So yeah, beautiful, gorgeous day today. Loving it. So anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in, let y'all know how I'm doing and so forth. Um, yeah, and 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 to reiterate the importance of getting yourself into routines. Um, especially when it comes to how you're you know, get, especially when it, when it comes to keeping yourself balanced, it, it, it is very, very important for you to do that. Um, and I definitely, whew, I know my buddy over here, Rambo, he's, uh, <laughs> he's happy to see me, but yeah, he's kind of kicking up some dust a little bit. So anyway, yeah, it's it, 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 now is actually even more important than ever. Um, to, you know, at really at any stage, I really shouldn't say now, but um, uh, I know definitely for me, it's now more important than ever for me to be keeping things, keeping myself balanced, you know, not going all haywire and so forth. Because, you know, if anything, what we have learned with my own recent experience, you know, with being in the hospital and so forth, I found, you know, when I would get emotional or what have you, all of those processes that I have been talking to you guys about and that I have instilled into my life and especially into the deep recesses of my little pea brain, <laughs> it, it really came in handy. It really, really did. Um, because when I would find myself um, getting it, 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 getting into the, you know, situations where, you know, anxieties could possibly kick in and so on and so forth, it was already in place, you know, to remind myself, hey, calm down, keep yourself balanced and so forth. A little plane going overhead. <laughs> and just, just remain relaxed, you know? Especially, you know, when you have somebody who's jabbing a needle into you that's, that's hurting or, or, you know, they're, they're starting to sh uh, shoot up some solution through your IV or what have you. Some of those could really burn. I got to tell you going into my veins. <laughs> so yeah. And I would just, okay. Remind myself, calm, relax, focus, remain balanced. And it, it does help. It really, really does. So yeah, having having all of that in place already for when chaotic situations actually do happen, it automatically kicks in, okay? So, and everybody's gonna be different in how you respond to that. How, what's what sort of things that you do to help remind you to keep yourself balanced and focused and so forth. Okay. So, and I did do, um, you know, I did try and keep up with my routine when I was in the hospital, even with all the constant interruptions, you know, as far as, you know, doing my morning grounding session, going for my walks, um, doing my yoga and so forth. I did try and, and, and keep up with that there at the end, not so much, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> I definitely was ready to go home. But yeah, I figured today is a good day to, for me to get back into the swing of things and so forth. And I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. So, and I, yeah, like I said, I, I think I mentioned too that I had a really great sugar this morning too. And that's the thing that I have been working on these last uh, several days since getting out of the hospital and getting, you know, back active and so on and so forth. Finding those magic numbers as i've been calling them with my insulin intakes it isn't something that i recommend that you all do fortunately 
you know, definitely make sure you work with your doctors about that if you are watching this and you are a diabetic um, or any other sort of medications that you may be on or what have you. Um, fortunately, you know, I have been a hypoglycemic all my life, so I know. And then on top of that, um, my mom, <clears throat> excuse me, before she passed away, she was a type 1 diabetic. And I, basically, I've been uh, dealing with diabetes either with myself or, 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 you know, with my mom since, uh, a little bit out of breath there, basically, you know, since I was, I've been, I was four years old. So, and a lot of things that I'm putting into practice now, I, I learned from her. So it's, it's definitely coming in handy with, with learning how to manage my own diabetes and everything. So. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and cut off. <laughs> a little out of breath. I would like to be able to focus on uh, my walk a little bit more. So um, I'll see about trying to do a card reading this afternoon. I'm not too sure. Um, but, um, it, you know, I'm just kind of playing things by ear right now. But it does definitely feel good to be back out here walking, talking to you guys again. And, uh, yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to continuing on with this again tomorrow. All right. We'll see what happens. I love you all. I'll talk to you all soon. Mm -hmm.